We're glorifying God just as much in that small action as we are in the larger action in that scale. So when we look at things in the Bible, we look at different commandments and things um, that God calls us to. Hey friends and welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Kate. This is a motherhood channel where we focus on faith, foster care and adoption, family, home and minimalism, and simply living our lives with the lens of the gospel. If any of that interests you, I would love to have you subscribe and join us. Sorry, I was crying in my last video that I filmed. I'm trying to pull myself together here. But today's video is just going to be a little bit of encouragement for your faith. The title of this video is Little and Big Things That Glorify God. And I think often as Christians, we feel like we need to do these big, wondrous acts um, for God, to serve God. We need to get into ministry. We need to be volunteering as much of our time as possible. Like, just big things. We need to do things that people notice us, that people say, oh, that person's living for the Lord. Like, we think we need to do these big things and we need to glorify God in our lives in big, big ways. And yeah, there's absolutely some truth to that, but there is so many little things and little ways that we can glorify God too. So this is just a, meant to be an encouraging message to you to use your life to glorify God in big and little things. The story that comes to mind uh, when I think about this topic is the story of the prodigal son. So if you don't know, the prodigal son leaves home, takes all of his father, like takes all of his inheritance, takes the money from his father, lives a terrible lifestyle, ends up in a horrible situation, and then comes home and his father just opens up his arms and is just so happy that he's home and he throws him a big party. What I take from that story is he came home, he came back. And that's, in the grand scheme of things, a very small detail, it's just coming home, but he returned home. In God's kingdom, things that seem to be small and insignificant are actually treasured by the one who matters most. We came home, we turned back. God gives us grace and mercy for all that, but we simply made the decision to come back, to come home. And the story of the prodigal son, the loss, it's a huge loss financially, um, emotionally, like the fathers in specifically, he loses so much. The recovery of that situation, his son coming back, like that is cause for celebration. You know, and depending on where you're watching this from, this next part may or may not resonate with you, but it likely will because if you're watching this, you're probably in America, North America, the UK, you're in a very developed, culture. You know, America's view of Christianity is like bigger and better and we have these mega churches with these mega productions that bring people in. God can be honored by that, absolutely, but God is just as honored when three believers meet together for a Bible study once a week. Or little actions like taking care of the widow who lives next door to you by bringing meals, checking in on her, sending her cards. Some people think foster parenting is a big action for God. And yeah, maybe in some ways it is. You do have to give up a lot um, and sacrifice a lot to be the role as a, of a foster parent. But supporting a foster family, doing a little thing like providing a meal for them the night that they get a new placement, that is seen as just a big thing in, in God's eyes. We're glorifying God just as much in that small action as we are in the larger action in that scale. So when we look at things in the Bible, we look at different commandments and things um, that God calls us to. And for me, obviously I'm going to say it, but God calls us to care for orphans. It's said multiple times in the Bible as believers, we are called to care for kids that don't have parents. But that doesn't mean that you're actively opening your home and bringing that child into your home. That can look like so many other things. So. You know, what is your contribution? How are you going to glorify God in that? Look at what God calls you to do instead of saying, oh no, I'm not called to that. That's, that's not for me. I'm not meant to adopt a child. How can you help people that are adopting children? There goes an airplane, which is very rare these days. <laughs> How can you help those who are maybe doing some of the bigger actions for God? God called some people to really big, really sacrificial things. How can you support and help? those people, if they're doing something for the kingdom of God, how can you come alongside them and be their support system? That is equally as valuable to God as the big thing that that person is doing. I think so often we wanna change the world. We wanna do something big and powerful to glorify God. But this is just a short and sweet reminder today that in your little daily actions, you are glorifying God too. In the attitude you have when you wash dishes, in the way that you comfort your child after they fall or have had a bad dream, those little things glorify God too. Sorry, my kids just got home from the park <laughs> with their dad, so if this doesn't exactly flow, that's why my train of thought was kind of interrupted. But just remember, as a woman of God, as a mom, everything you do, every little step, every big step, your attitude and the way that you do mundane things, all of those things grow God's kingdom and glorify God, even if it's not some big grandiose 
thing that you do, even if you're not writing a devotional or, you know, just some big thing. Oftentimes what we feel important for God can distract us from just all the little, little tiny moments of service that you do day in and day out for your kids, for your family, for your community, for your friends. But all of those things are equally as important. So just a reminder and some encouragement today to remember that little things can glorify God just as much as big things can and to live your life accordingly. To wash your dishes with joy because you have children to wash dishes for. You know, just little things like that. Our attitude is a big part of this. Just the our attitude to service and the way we do things, our heart. Um, and ask God to help you with that. If that doesn't come naturally, it doesn't come naturally to me. I, I ask God for this often, like soften my heart, make me more service minded. You know, in some ways it's easy for me to serve, like, because I feel God has called me to that. For example, foster parenting, like that's, I find that easy. <laughs> Sorry, I should rephrase this. It is not easy, but it is an easy yes for me because I feel God has called me to that so strongly. What is not as easy is doing all my mundane tasks with joy. That takes intentionality and reminding myself that those things are just as important. Those little things are just as important. My attitude is just as important. So remember, big things and little things can glorify God. It doesn't have to be something big to cause kingdom impact. So if you like this little note of encouragement, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. I would love to have you be a part of the community so very much, and I will see you on the next video. Bye.